guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to start our new chapter for grade 1 science and today our lesson is about growing the plants so here we will learn about the different thing about the plants how the plants grow how many parts they have and how the plants are known as the living thing so let's start so first of all we are going to learn about their parts so similarly as a human body plants also have many parts like the human body have the eyes nose ear mouth so plants also have many parts we are going to learn about them plants have many parts for example flower what is this flower f l o w e r flower then we have a fruit so of course plants give us the fruit depends upon the which plant are you looking at so here in the picture we are looking at the tomato plant so tomatoes or the tomato is known as the fruit f r u i t fruit then we have leaf l e a f leaf then the stems okay the this green stick is known as the stem s t e m stem and then our hair is known as roots so roots are under the soil usually you cannot see until and unless you take out the plant if you doesn't take out the plant you cannot see the roots they are under the soil and they have different function roots are known as r o o t s roots so these were the parts of plant flower so flower you already know what is the flower fruit fruit we also know what is the fruit that grow on the plant so flower is important for the butterfly for fertilization and fruit is important for us to eat then we have the leaves leaves also have the different function for example providing the water absorbing the water giving protection to plant then a stem okay the stem and roots are the main important body part of the plant for example if the plant doesn't have the root they cannot grow the plant they cannot have the fruits they cannot have the leaf and the branches and if they don't have a stem also plant cannot grow now the purpose is this the roots absorb the water you know that for growing plants two things are very important one is sunlight and one is water so the roots absorb the water from the soil and take up to the stem then stem is the one of the main function of the stem is to keep running the water into the branches and into the fruits and into the leaves so they can have a good great fruit grown on the plants and also they can be fresh so what types of plant parts we learn flower fruit leaf stem and roots look at this garden there are many different plants in this garden so over here they show the picture of the garden and you can see there are different plants because this is yellow flower red flower and something fruit as well you can see the white flower as well can you see a leaf so you can see the leaf over there over here can you see a flower yes this is the yellow flower can you see a stem so we cannot see a stem but over here if we look at the tree this is the stem of the tree okay when the plant grows bigger and bigger it turns into the tree then we can you see any roots okay usually roots are under the soil but here you can see the roots of the trees that are very close and binding towards the soil so this is known as roots so activity is go outside to look for a plant and can you name the plant so you have to look for the plants you go outside to your home and you look for the plants and you identify the body parts of the plant body parts of the plant for example flower stem leaf fruits and root 
what we have learned plants have roots stems and leaves sometimes plants have flower or fruit so flowers and fruit are not necessary for any plant for example if it's a simple plant which cannot give you fruit so it will be not having uh, any kind of fruit or vegetable they will be only having the flower and the leaves and the stems but sometimes plants do not have a flowers they only have a fruits so you have to know which plant you are looking for so but plants must be having the roots stems and leaves so let's learn about their words what we have learned fruit f r u i t fruit flower f l o w e r flower stem s t e m stem leaf l e a f leaf roots r o o t s roots name n a m e name so you should remember this names of plants and later we will uh, sorry parts of plants later we can make can draw the plants and you need to label as well which is fruit which is flower which is stem i hope you like this video thank you